Hi everyone and welcome to Phil's Fun Fact Friday from Team Vincent Motorsports in Aero, Ontario. Today we're looking at one of the most important parts of the steering for your sled, that is the carbides. Years ago, in the early days, they were called wear bars with good reason. The first Skidoo skis were made of wood. The wear bars underneath helped with steering and also helped prolong the life of the wooden skis. The first steel skis continued to use a simple steel wear bar to prevent them from wearing out and also assist in the steering process. In the mid-70s, cornering ability became important for racing and for performance sleds. This is when carbide wear bars became popular. They cornered better and lasted a lot longer. On modern sleds, single and dual carbides can be used for rider preference. Depending on the rider, the sled and riding conditions, getting your front end dialed in right can sometimes be a bit tricky. Now, there's two things you can do. Of course, the limiter strap, which will adjust how much weight is on your front end. Also, you can change the length of the carbide. By combining single, double, and how much carbide is actually on your skis, you change how much resistance there is. So if somebody complains that it's just too hard to steer their sled, sometimes it's as simple as changing how much carbide is underneath your ski. Changing the amount of carbide under your ski is quite simple. The actual length of the steel rod is the same and the bolt pattern is the same. The difference is how much carbide is welded underneath. So there's no drilling involved. It's just a matter of swapping one carbide length for another. A few years ago, Skidoo came up with an innovative approach that combines ski and carbide technology. Instead of traditional carbides and skis, the Pilot TS system used this, an adjustable carbide. As you cranked up and down, the carbide went up and down. So it compensated for changes in snow throughout the day. Ongoing changes in snowmobile suspension design and technology ultimately means that the skis and the carbides will continue to change as well. Thank you so much for watching our video series here at Team Vincent Motorsports in Air Ontario. Remember to like, share, comment, and tune in for the entire video series. Team Vincent Motorsports, Air Ontario.